Hi, this is Kathy at InkingPaperWithCat.com. Today's project is a small gift bag that will hold four to six Sharpie markers and it was really designed to be a teacher appreciation gift. Kind of staying with my theme this week. Markers go in and right in the little bag. It's made with a sheet of 4x12 designer paper. Now if you are using designer paper that has a direction to it like this one did, you need to make sure that you cut it so that it will not end up being sideways. So think about it before you cut your paper because you don't want to waste paper. You also need a scrap of mint macaroon for punching, basic black for punching, and whisper white for stamping. You'll need a length of ribbon for tying, your stamps, your ink pad. I'm going to use mint macaroon. All these products are from Stampin' Up. The um, ornate tag topper punch. You'll need a one and a half, no, one and a quarter, one and three eighths inch circle punch and a one and a half inch scallop punch. So let's get busy. You need your Simply Scoreboard. Put your designer series paper with the long side at the top and you are going to score at one and three quarters, five and a half, six and a half, ten and one quarter. Turn it with the short side at the top and score at one and at three. That's all of our scoring done. So let's fold and burnish. The first short side score is actually going to fold this way. Then you're going to fold the next one like you normally would. And then again, this one will come back the other way. When you have these really long folds, you do need to be a little bit careful so that you don't tear your paper or fold it in a wonky fashion, and I've done both. All right, let's do some trimming here. There are rectangles on all four corners. I don't know how well you can see that. Maybe you see better on this side. We're going to remove those. Try to be as straight as you can. Okay, now we're going to cut up these two small score lines in the middle. And we are going to wedge both of those. All right, 
right, now we're going to take our tag topper punch and fold these in so that that will slide in all the way. Punch, turn it, do the same thing on the opposite side. Let's assemble this. You are going to put adhesive on both of these tabs. And then you are going to put adhesive on the inside of these two tabs. And that is the front of your box or your back. So bring the back up, line it up with that tab, and then you bring your front around. Alright, your flaps are going to fold down. I want to put a glue dot on these so that they stay down and aren't popping up. So I'm just putting a glue dot there. And then again on the back. Now where you have this little opening, obviously on the front, your tag is going to cover that up. I also put a second tag on this one on the back. I'm not doing that today. You can do that if you want, if that opening bothers you. After I did it, I thought, no, I don't think I really need to do that. So let's do our stamping. Today we are using You Are So Lovely in Mint Macaroon Ink. For you. We're going to punch that with the one and a quarter inch punch. We are going to punch a one and three eighths inch circle from the basic black. And we need the one and a half inch scallop from the mint macaroon. Let's use some glue dots to pop those up. not glue dots, excuse me. Really stuck on that today for some reason. Dimensionals. And that's going to go right there. I'm going to pop that up as well. Reach inside your box and kind of give it a good push down. Now, you can leave your box like that with your markers inside. Or you can give it a little pinch, depending on what you want to do. So let's put our markers into a bundle and tie them with a ribbon. I 
like this stack of paper. Um, it's, it's my party because it has some dark shades in it. And if you've got um, a male teacher that you're trying to make something for, sometimes it's nice to have something that just has a, a, a more masculine look to it. Of course, today I'm going to have trouble tying a bow. markers in. And there you have it. A very simple thank you gift for a teacher or anyone else that you wanted to give something to. Lots of things would fit in this, but I think markers always make nice gifts. But you could certainly fill it with chocolates or chocolate covered pretzel sticks all sorts of things. Thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you soon.